Hey guys, this is Sala. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your DVR so that you could use your computer or laptop to access it when you're away from home. If you haven't already, please make sure to watch our local access video first. There are things we do in that video which are going to be needed in order to complete this remote setup process in this video. You can click here to jump to that video now. Before we begin, you want to make sure that your router is connected to your DVR with an Ethernet cable like so. Okay guys, here we are on the DVR. The first thing we're going to want to do is just left click and open up the main menu. And we're going to go to settings and network here. And from TCP IP, we're going to jump down to connection. You'll notice that the HTTP port is set to 80. We're just going to change that to 37776. And basically, what you want to do is write down this HTTP port because we're going to need it later. Now you just click Apply and hit OK. Your DVR will reset, so for the purposes of this video, we'll just skip ahead. Okay guys, so here we are back on our DVR. First thing you want to do is just left click and open up the main menu. We go back to settings and network. From TCP IP, let's jump to connection and make sure that our HTTP port has changed to 37776. And after we confirm that, just go to DDNS. We're going to enable it up here and then just click apply in the bottom right. Now where it says domain name, we're going to want to write down everything that's in this box dot quickddns.com. This, in addition to the HTTP port that we got earlier, we're going to need later on to punch into our browser on the computer to access the DVR. Next, we go down to UPnP. Up top, we're going to want to enable it. And then below in the PAT table, you'll find that HTTP is at 80. We want to change this to match what we put in the connection section before. So 37776, both for the internal and external ports. And once we've done that, just click OK. Finally, the last four checkboxes, we just uncheck because we're not going to need these in order for our remote access to work. So once we've unchecked those, all we've got to do next is click Apply in the bottom right. Now, if you look up where it says UPnP status, you'll notice that it says searching. Just give it a few moments to connect to the router, and then all you have to do is click OK. Exit out of this page, jump back into network, and UPnP status changes to success. Now that's it for the DVR portion. Next, we'll take a look at the computer. Okay, so here we are on my computer. This is what it's going to look like if you're at your office, at work, or at your friend's house. Um, first thing we want to do is just open up a browser, in my case Google Chrome, and up here in the address bar you're going to want to type in the DDNS URL that we got earlier. So in my case it's going to be this.quickddns.com colon 37776, which was our HTTP port. Just like that, you'll see the login screen come up. In my case, it's admin and 12345. And now all we have to do is click open all down here. And once you see all your cameras come up, that means you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out our other videos.